hey family welcome back to another diy video this is nada and i hope everybody is doing well so in today's video guys we are going to be recycling yes guys you heard me very well we are going to be recycling all those old and cheap conditioners and shampoos that you have in your product stash that you have not been using so if you are new here guys please subscribe thank you for viewing subscribe and join the family so let's get into the video so if you've been a product junkie like me who goes into the the shop or the supermarket and i will buy all those very cheap one euro and one dollar conditioners that have anything like natural ingredients written on them this video is for you guys so if you have this type of very cheap products like this um Garnier ultra soft kit conditioner or Tresemme or the other very big uh, jug that you saw down there that I bought all of them for about two euro then guys and you don't know what to do with them you've been wondering what to do with them do not throw them away okay guys so this is how we're going to do it we'll start with the shampoo so I'm going to put about two um, tablespoons of clay. That is kaolin clay, guys. And then I'm adding about three um, tablespoons of aloe vera juice. So I did my aloe vera out of camera. So you know how we do that. That's not complicated. So you want to mix that up. So guys, as for my uh, French viewers and those who are from Cameroon, kaolin clay clay is not the calabar chalk guys that we used to eat no it's not it so do not confuse it with it do not go and buy calabar chalk to come and grind and put it on your head that's not what it is okay so you have to get that one from amazon that's why i got mine so then you want to mix all of that together but you must not use kaolin clay you can use any other clay that you have in your that is available to you use it so mix that all together Mix it until it is smooth. Mine wasn't really smooth, guys, but I, I, it ended up being smooth in the bottle. When you put it in the bottle and then you shake and then you're going to add the very cheap conditioner that you have. Guys, this conditioner is 1 euro. I got it for 1 euro from my local supermarket. So you want to stir that up, stir it properly. So like I was saying, guys, I'm one of those people who like to buy anything that I see natural ingredients on them. I will buy. <laughs> so but for now, since I've decided to move away from the store-bought conditioners, I want to empty my stash. I don't want to throw away anything, guys. Like they say, we don't want to waste money, right? Like they say, a penny save is a penny gain. So do not throw them away. Just try to um, uh, modify them. And just do a remix of the conditioner or the shampoo. <laughs> and you put it on your hand. Then you're adding. I add that is um, apple cider vinegar that I added. Then I also add an oil, extra virgin olive oil on it. And then I added peppermint and tea tree. Okay, guys. But do not worry. I'm going to put everything down below in the description box for you. And then you want to pour that into your con into your con container. Okay. So pour that into the container and then you, you give it a good shake and it's time to wash the hair. So I'm applying that is my number two. Her name is Avina. So I'm applying it to her hair. I detangled her hair with um with um rice water. The rice water that if you watch my previous video, you saw the rice water in it with the herbs that I did. So I, I detangled her hair with it with the rice water and coconut and sorry castor oil the previous day and today i'm just spraying her hair with water just pure water and then i'm going to put our shampoo so before you give it apply guys just give it a good shake and you will mix all of it you see how it's coming out guys it's, it's mixed properly and you just apply it on a scalp guys i won't lie to you this thing is so good it moisturizes her scalp and then the clay and the apple cider vinegar they just disintoxify her scalp and keep it so clean if i just just um conditioned her hair at the same time so it's really nice i was surprised at how it works properly and again you know that if you use those uh, shampoos that you got for those amount of money those very cheap shampoos they'll end up 
like that they end up being very dry into the hair with all the soft fit that is inside it's going to dry your hair like crazy but when you do it this way guys her hair was so moisturized very soft and her curls were popping and everything was just coming in in order <laughs> so you want to apply that to all of her hair and just give her scalp a good clean rub her scalp properly for it to be to be very clean and then you go ahead and you will rinse her hair in the shower or anyhow you want to do it so i just twist that section up leaving the, the shampoo in her hair and then i'll do the rest of her head so this is what it's looking like guys after i've done everything i'll just squeeze her hair and make sure that it's all when i rinse it up it will be very it will be clean so and then i will take her to the shower to the sink i actually rinsed her hair in the kitchen in the kitchen sink and that is it guys look at her how soft and moisturized it looks and her hair is so shrinked my god guys the shrinkage is real look at that and her scalp is so clean and shiny already it looks like she has it looks like i already conditioned her hair which is not the case so guys that's how her hair looks and so we are going to move on to the conditioner. Yes, she's just enjoying her hair. They like my my girls love their hair, guys. You cannot even take a strand of a strand of hair from their head. They would not allow you. So now we're gonna make um our moisturizing and strengthening conditioner, guys. So in here I have a couple couple of powders that I added to a bottle. So you're gonna see the names come out on your on your screen right now. So I have a, a tablespoon each of these powders, the ones that are written on your screen, Shikaika, Amla, Brahmi, Henna, Biranji, Aloe Vera, Fenugreek, and Moringa. I put them in the bottle and I added olive oil and I, I think I added castor oil too and I left it for two months. I left I left the bottle for two months in, the, in a dark, in a cold dark place for two months guys and thereafter i strained my oil and i strained strained my oil like a week ago and i kept the powder so i was surprised to see to, to still see the little bit of oil that came out from it the one in the bowl so now guys i'm just mixing everything up for it to be smooth before i start adding the conditioners into it so that's it then I'm adding this very big container of argan oil conditioner that I got for about, I think about 2 euros. I cannot really remember, but it was really cheap. So I saw it, it was so cheap, and then I saw that it was made out of argan, and I'm like, okay, let me try it. I used it, when I got this thing, guys, I used it to detangle my hair, but it was not adding any sleep, so I just abandoned it in the house until... I use the ones in the white to add when I have anything to add inside, like the Ayurvedic powders that I'm showing you right now. So that's what I used to that I use that conditioner for. And then now I'm just going to add also my trace me that is also running out. But I still have more of trace me in the house. I use trace me this one particularly when I don't wanna when I don't want to, when I'm lazy guys, when I don't want to strain on my kids hair, I use it like a rinse out conditioner before I add a deep conditioner on it. So, or sometimes I will just use it like a deep conditioner, adding things to it like what I am doing now. So that's how I use my trace me. And then now I'm adding three tablespoons of aloe vera juice guys. And then I'm going to mix that up until it is smooth and creamy. So if you, you can also add honey, you can add honey to it and any other thing that you think that you can add it to give you some moisture because those powders alone are super drying and they have a lot of protein in them. So that's why it dries the hair. So you want to make it moisturizing. While it's strengthening your hair, it should be moisturizing at the same time. Okay, guys, so you want to make sure that you add some moisture into it before you apply it to your hair. Uh, if you do not have anything available to make it moisturizing, then you use the, the powders 
on their own like that with like yogurt or something and then thereafter you're going to put a moisturizing conditioner on your hair again follow up with the moisturizing conditioner okay guys so now i'm about to apply to her hair so i just applied it from her roots to her ends i make sure that i work it inside guys you know how we do it right we just moist we just saturate every strand of our hair just put it there guys do not be stingy just enjoy the process okay guys just put it there except you're really scared that you don't want to waste time in the shower to raise it because when you do this guys to rinse it you will take a lot of time and you will use a lot of water to rinse your hair <laughs> and it's going to take a lot of time because you will spend time on each section taking those powders out okay guys especially if you've added fenugreek into it you will need to take a lot of time to take out the fenugreek so some of the times I've decided some of the times decide to leave fenugreek out because fenugreek is one it's very nice for hair guys it strengthens your hair makes your hair grow a lot but it stocks in your hair to take it out is a problem on its own so sometimes I decide to leave it out it just depends on my mood if I really don't think I have I have the time or the patience to rinse rinse and rinse again I'll just take fenugreek out okay so because it's not even every time that you, you use fenugreek on your hair it shouldn't be an everyday thing even though i have high porosity hair so if i have it like in a condition if i have it like in a living or in a spray then i will not bother to do a, a deep conditioner with it again or if i have it in my rice water it just depends okay guys so just try to use those powders and every other conditioner in moderation so just Put it in a bun and then I'll put a plastic bag on her hair and then she will sit for some time guys. As usual, you know how we do it for us. The longer the better. And then you rinse the hair. Like I said, I took about an hour or an hour plus just to rinse her hair. Just rinsing guys. For one person's hair because I have two girls guys. So I took a lot of time in the shower to rinse their hair. And that is it and that is it I finished and then I decided to do this simple corn roll at the, at the perimeter of their head and in the middle I did twist two strand twist and then I put it in the bun for them to go to school that was on a Sunday so it was that's their hair for two weeks guys thank you for watching as usual guys I love you so much bye please subscribe share our video and I will see you again God willing